Hey guys, happy, what day is it, Wednesday. Um, excited to get some um, working out with you guys. I've really missed um, teaching classes. I know I've been doing um, some YouTube videos for Zumba, but haven't gotten the chance to do any hit. But I was really missing instructing and wanted to get back to it. So, hey Gwen, you working out with me this morning? Um, so we'll get started in a minute. I'm going to give people just a minute to log on. Um, I'm not going to play any music out loud for you guys, so make sure um, you have something in the background where you are on a speaker or something. Um, I don't want to deal with copyright issues. I've had some videos blocked um, for music, so just have something. I like to use Rock My Run. I'm still currently deciding on my playlist right now. Um, here's one. I'll try this out. It's called Feel Good 5K 2020. I use, like I said, I use Rock My Run. Um, if you've never used it, give it a try. Um, there's a free version. It just has an ad. Hey, Sarah. Wow, long time to see. Um, it just has some ads like every 15 minutes. It'll play something for about 15 seconds, but um, the free version works just fine. Um, so all you really need today is some kind of step. I have a step. I'm lucky enough. Hey, Sarah, what's up? Um, I have a step. I was lucky enough to get one a while back, um, but a stair will work just fine. Um, you can modify anything, um, take it at your own pace, whatever you need to do um, to get that workout. Yeah, go dogs. <laughs> Our list um, So, um, okay, so you need a, some kind of step or stair. You need something for weights. Hey, Missy. Um, yep, whatever you've got, if you have some cans in the house, if you've got actual weights, again, I'm lucky enough to have some weights, anything you can grip in your hand that'll give you something. And if you don't have weights, it's fine. Hey, Sophia. Hey, Ashley. Um, if you don't have any weights, you can still do everything without weights. It'll just be a little bit more intense with weights. Um, and then if you have a mat or just a towel, um, for your knees, we'll be doing some push ups throughout the workout. Um, I think I posted last night, I'm not going to be doing any specific core because as y'all can tell, I can't really do any crunches. So, hey, hey, Janine. Um, who else is there? Oh, thanks, girl. Um, so, anyways, I'm going to put my headphones in. My kid is upstairs watching Mickey Mouse, so um, she's usually pretty good with Mickey Mouse. Um, she's pretty sucked in, but I may have to just check on her for a second in between rounds. Um, so, here's how it's going to look. We have about seven different blocks that we're going to do. And um, each one is, um, sorry, I've got to remember to press record here. Let me do that because I'm going to post this later too on YouTube in case anyone missed it. Let me put y'all over here. Can y'all hear me okay? Just making sure. Um, okay, so um, what I was saying, so you have about seven blocks, two exercises in each, strength and a cardio. Um... <laughs> And we'll be doing each of those exercises for a minute, each of them for 45 seconds, and then each of them for 30 seconds. We'll take a little break. I'll explain the next little set. And we'll do that seven times with, with seven different blocks. Then we'll finish with some Tabata, get some stretching, um, and get going. So first we'll do a little dynamic warm-up. It has been a long time since I've done a dynamic warm-up, but I'm excited. Hey, Rebecca, I love my Hampstead crew, Jordan. So glad y'all are joining in. All right, so first, just take a little march. Don't forget to start your workout. All right, just a little march to get started. We're gonna start grabbing those knees. If you have some music on in the background, you can keep with the beat, you don't have to. The nice thing about a dynamic warm-up is if you don't have any coordination, you don't have to worry about it. All right, let's take it behind. I'm trying to read y'all's comments as you comment, but my phone's kind of far away from my face, just so y'all know. All right, let's take it to some squats. Keep it going. Keep it going. I'm going to check. Make sure your weight's back in your heels. Oh, girl, I miss you too. Still doing those squats. I'm going to unplug one here because it's weird. All right, let's do some hurdle, well, well not locks because we're in place. Up and over, hip rotations we'll call them. 
Getting those hips nice and loose. Other side. It's been a long time since I've done a specific dynamic warm up like the ones I used to do in Hampstead. All right, let's do some glutes. So grab your ankle and your knee and pull up on both. Make sure it's not just your ankle because you'll put some torque on your knee and we don't want to twist that knee at all. Woo! This little belly's in my way. Little belly. It's not so little these days. Good. Heart rate should be starting to climb a little. Nothing crazy. Back to squats. Good. All right, now keep it going. I'm just gonna move these weights out of my way. We're gonna add a little bit of cardio. We're gonna go shuffle side to side. Doesn't have to be far. I don't have much room in here. <laughs> keep that going, keep that going. I'm gonna check on y'all. Hey, Tasha. Girl, get your workout done early, that's for sure. All right, let's take it to some high knees. Now, my knees don't go so high anymore. It's nothing crazy. We're just getting that heart rate going. So get those arms moving. Pick them up. They don't have to be super fast. We're just getting movement in. Turn it to a butt kicker. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see it. Kicking yourself in the high knee. Swinging those arms up and down. All right, let's take it to some hamstring kicks. If you are not warmed up enough for these, do a couple more of those exercises. Hamstring crew, did I miss any that y'all remember? Keep it going, keep it going. You wanna try to kick straight, so try not to cross the kick over. The arm windmills across. All right, how long we've been going? Almost four minutes. We'll take it back to that squat. Do a couple of these, and then we're gonna do some lateral lunges. Waking up those hips a little more. Side to side. Woo! Almost there. All right, one more. All right, if you feel like you need a little bit more, repeat a couple of those exercises. Oops, spilled some water. Make sure I'm on do not disturb. It won't let me. It won't let me. So, oh, there we go. Make sure I don't bump y'all off. Okay. So, here's what we got. Very simple today. We're keeping things nice and simple. Not easy. <laughs> simple. We're going to start with squats and jumping jacks. That's it. So, remember, anytime you do a squat, weight should be back in the heels. Knees are behind the toes. Chest stays up. This is not a squat. All right, you gotta pretend like you're sitting back on a chair. All right, but there's no chair, so you have to figure out how to balance. A lot of times we like to tell people, pretend you have to go to the bathroom in a porta potty. You don't wanna actually sit down, but you have to sit backwards and not fall, right? All right, so you got squats, and then you have jumping jacks. The option is just to step instead of jump, which y'all will probably see me taking a few of the options because not gonna lie, Things are getting a little difficult, especially jumping things. So, all right, we're gonna do a minute of each, 45 seconds of each, 30 seconds of each. All right, you guys ready? 60 seconds on the clock, squats in three, two, one. Let's go. If you feel like it and you have a weight or like the other day I used a giant can of tomatoes in a workout, hold that weight at your chest. Now, keep in mind, this is our longest round. So if you wanna do a body weight to start out with, and then as we decrease the time, you can add some weight. That works as well. Keep it up. Keep going, keep going. I'm checking on y'all. Hey Katie, just in time to join in. Just use this first round to warm up. We got squats and jumping jacks here. 20 seconds. And then we got jumping jacks. Come on, I hope you got some good music in the background. My 
That's doing pretty good. I like this playlist so far. Three, two, one, jumping jacks. Good. Now remember, if you need to, step it out. Totally fine. Totally fine. Just keep those arms moving. So far, the jumping is not so bad for me this morning. I got my belly band. Longest round. It's going to get shorter after this. If you need to, keep that speed up. We want movement here. This is the cardio portion. If you need to alternate back and forth, take a little bit of a breather on that low impact. Totally fine and get back to it. 10 seconds. We're going back to squats. Time's decreasing in three, two, one. Squats for 45. Right into it. No breaks here. Good. Sinking down low. Oh, my legs are already burning. I've missed this intensity of teaching classes. I have so much more fun when I'm with you guys. It's not as much fun in my house by myself. But this definitely helps knowing that you guys are there with me. About 10 seconds and we're back to those jacks. Woo! Come on! You got this. Three, two, one. Come on! Less than 30, come on. I'm singing the music in my ears. If you're wondering what my lips are doing, 10 seconds, come on. If you need to take that option, it's okay. Just keep moving. Woo! Three, two, one. Back to squats, 30 seconds. Let's go. This one's short. If you've got something heavy, heavier, pick it up. We got less than 60 seconds of work. Then we get a little breather before our second round. Less than 10. Come on. 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Let's take it up in three, two, one. Come on. We are here to work this morning, guys. Come on. Come on, keep moving, keep moving. Let's go. 10 seconds. Don't give up. Woo! Three, two, one. Take that breather. Do not sit or stand still. You need to step, touch, grab your water, whatever. I'm gonna kind of hop down to get close to y'all and let you know what we got next. I've got two cameras going here. One of my angles is good and one isn't. Whoo, hey, Steel. Long time no see, buddy. Okay, here's what we got. Same structure. Same structure of what we were doing. All right, um, side bends, frog jumps. So, Hopefully you have something you can hold in your hand for weights. Um, if you don't have anything with like a handle grip, you can kind of hold with your wrist, make it work, whatever works. Ideally something heavy, all right, because side bends are a pretty big muscle group right here. So holding your weight, reaching to the side and back down. Now what I want you to avoid is leaning back or forward. You wanna go straight to the side and back up. I like to put my hand here to hold, to remind me that's the muscle that I'm working. Do not hold two weights, that completely offsets. You've got the same weight pulling on each side. The goal is to make yourself uneven, so you're having to work. So we've got side bends, we'll do half and half. So that first minute we'll split 30 and 30 on each side. So we'll need to do a quick change. If you only have light weights, 
something you can do, <coughs> excuse me, if they're not heavy enough, just dumbbell them in your hand. That'll work. All right? Then, what do we have next? Oh, man. Frog jumps. Who is that? Oh, hey, Shannon. <laughs> I made it myself. I made my shirt myself. All right, frog jumps. It's basically a deep squat. Chest is still up, and those arms are going up and down. All right? Now, do not let this happen. It is about legs here, okay? If you need to take the impact out, you can just take the jump out. All right, you can even leave a calf raise in there if you want to, to add that, but you can always take the impact out. All right, let's get to it. We don't want too much of a break. So grab your weights. All right, we have 60 seconds. Doesn't matter which side you do first, as long as you do both. Side bends, here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Slow and controlled on the way down, a little more aggressive on the way up. Really feel that muscle contract as it shortens. <sighs> Trying to build workouts with little to no equipment because I know not everybody's got it. We've got about 10 seconds till we switch sides. <sighs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Switch it over. I got a timer to move too. <laughs> All right, come on. After this, we got frog jumps. A minute of those, a long time. Make sure those feet are directly under those hips. Slight bend in the knees, just a soft bend so you're not locked out. Make sure they're not too wide because that'll limit your range of motion. All right, less than 10 seconds. We got those froggers. Frog jumps. Three, two, one. Let's go. Remember, if you need to take that jump out at any time, those arms are important in this movement. We've got to keep them going up and down. That's going to add a little bit to that cardio. Without adding much to the legs, you're still getting more movement. The more you move, the more you burn. I'm not going to lie. This is much harder while I'm talking to y'all. That's good. I'm getting to burn. 30 seconds in. 30 seconds to go. Man, that extra 30 pounds is giving me a lot on those legs. I think that's where I'm at now, it's 30. Whew. Come on. Sink down in those hips. Whew. 10 seconds. Come on. We're going back to side bends. Three, two, one, 45 seconds. Remember, it's getting shorter. No breaks during our blocks, only after. It's almost time, a quick switch. Three, two, one, switch it over. Almost there, and we got 45 seconds of froggers. Frog jumps. Getting all my lingo mixed up. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, this one's shorter. Keep that pace up. Woo, we got this. Come on. about 20 seconds. You can do this. I know it's burning. It is supposed to be burning. Come on. Less than 10. Come on. Come on. Three, two, one. We are back to those side bends. 30 seconds in three, two, one. This one's going to be quicker. Doesn't mean we have to move faster on this one. This one is strength. It's not about speed or rep count. It's just about doing quality reps. It's almost time to switch. Two, one, switch it over. Woo, I feel my heartbeat. Oh man, it's actually a little too high for what it's supposed to be. <laughs> That's the first time in a while. Three, 
two, one, frog jumps. Let's go. Come on. Come on. You can do this. It's the last 30 seconds of frog jumps. We got more, but no more frog jumps. 15. You are halfway there. Come on. I'm going to make it to the end with the jump. Come on, you can too. Yes. Feels so good. It hurts so good. Two. One. Take your breather. Grab a sip. Do not sit or stand still. Woo. All right. Give me a second. Let me check on my kiddo. Savannah, you good? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Go sit down, please. <laughs> okay, baby. I'm doing my workout. All right. Just finished one episode of Mickey Mouse. And she's Elsa. She got an Elsa cape yesterday, so. All right, here's what we got. Checking on y'all first. Hey, Brandy. Hey, Victoria. Cindy, hey, Amory. Those are the only people's names I can see right now. Okay, so. Lunges, knee crunches. My knee crunches don't look so pretty these days. Don't close this, please. Okay, real life. All right, second home with a toddler. Lunges. Stepping back, I prefer reverse lunges for the fact that when you step backwards, it helps keep that front knee behind the toe. When you step forwards, totally fine as long as your form is fine, but some people tend to rock that knee forward. And it's very important in a lunge that that front knee stays behind the toe, chest stays up, back knee comes straight down. A tip I like to use sometimes, find something that's straight up and down, put your arm on it, line up with your back leg, and try to keep in line with that vertical line, all right? If you have any trouble going forward and back. So lunges, knee crunches. Like I said, these are not so pretty for me. Wide feet, wide arms. You are crossing in front, trying to touch your elbow and your knee right in front of your belly button. Mine are a little wide these days. Totally fine. If you have the same problem as me, you can just do what you can, or you can do what I call apple pickers side to side. All right, so that's our cardio. The goal is to get those moving as fast as you can. All right, let me do one. Mary Ellen, hey girl. Woo. Wow, we are repping RLST. Sorry, I'm trying to get my phone to sit up right so y'all can see, okay? Is that good? Okay, let's get to it, lunges. With lunges, you're welcome to pick up a weight. Remember, as that time goes down, you can always add weight as the time goes down. There we go, just being repetitive. All right. One minute on those lunges in three, two, one. Let's go. Remember, if you miss or miss it or you can't do it right now, if you're just tuning in to see what's up, I will be posting this later either here on my helpful page or YouTube. I just got to get it uploaded to YouTube. I definitely prefer if you're not doing it live for y'all to do it on YouTube. It gives me views and y'all can watch it whenever you want, even later on, like tomorrow or like next month or whenever, 30 seconds in. Come on, dig low. Keep that form. Front knee is behind that toe. Your weight is in the heel of that front foot. 15 seconds, and then we've got knee crunches. Woo! Come on. Almost there, three, two, one. Knee crunches, come on. Now if you're really up for a challenge, and I know some of y'all are, you can add a jump. Remember, you are trying to touch that elbow and that knee. I can't quite do it. Come on. Woo! Remember, if you're just tuning in, I don't have any music playing for copyright issues. So, play your own music in the background however you can. Come on, wide arms, wide legs. The goal is the oblique crunch and the heart rate up. 20 seconds, and we're going back to lunges. Come on. Keep moving. Almost there. Three, two, one. If you want some weight, hold that weight. Wherever you want is fine. 
However, I like holding weight at the chest for squats and lunges because, as my good friend Joe said to me once, and it clicked, forces your core to work a little bit harder than if you hold it down at your waist. And that made a lot of sense. 15 seconds. Man, I love when it gets shorter. Woo! Almost there. I'm huffing and puffing. All right, it's a little too high, actually. All right, drop it. Knee crunches in three, two, one. Let's go. Anybody else's nose run when they work out? Just me. I always need a Kleenex, so keep on going. Luckily, I remember to bring one down with me. Woo! Y'all, we are getting close to the end of round three. Block three. 20 seconds to go, come on. Let's get moving, come on. Woo! Here we go, come on, couple more seconds. 30 seconds on lunges, if you got something heavier, pick it up in three, two, one. Lunges, woo! Keep it up, I'm gonna check on y'all, I know some of y'all commented right here, so. Hey, Becky. Hey, Hannah. Ann, you're late, girl. You can get with us. Just make sure that that first round's a warm-up. We're finishing lunges and knee crunches. That, or remember, if you're just tuning in, it will either be here or it will be on YouTube. Knee crunches. Remember, if you can, please watch it on YouTube once it's uploaded. Gives me views. girlfriend all right you can always be on your hands and knees okay just make sure that core is tight it's harder to keep your core tight here sometimes to be honest I've had to drop to this because I've got that extra 30 pounds on me um, totally fine you can also do push-ups on a wall all right if that's still too much resistance right here okay and that'll help you keep that plank position so push-ups and then step up so I've got my step right here all it is is to the top. You can do any version of step up you want to do. You could do a butt kick. You could do at the top, you could do a knee crunch, whatever. If all you have is a set of stairs right here, if you're coordinated enough, you could even do two stairs. Totally up to you. I'm not because you can't hear me. So, all right. Whew. 
All right. I will post it either here or on YouTube, Mara. Don't worry. Once it's done, I just got to get it uploaded. Okay. So, one minute on those push-ups. Not sure what y'all can see. All my words are blocking, but let's get to it. One minute on push-ups and one minute on step-ups. In three, two, one. Let's go. I'm going to tilt. Not the prettiest angle there. Remember, keep that core nice and tight. Definitely a challenge for me these days. One minute is a long time, so pace yourself. Remember, it's not about how many you do, it's about how good they are. All right? Keep that head in line. Do not look down at your toes. Do not look at the wall in front of you. You wanna look straight in between those hands. Keeping that spine completely in line. 30 seconds. Come on. Come on. I know push-ups are one of my least favorite exercises in the world. I would way rather be pushing weights. 15 seconds. Remember, if you need to take that option, completely fine. Your coach is doing it right here. <laughs> if your quality isn't good, that option is necessary. Here we go in three, two, one. Move what you need to. Get to those step ups as quick as you can. Come on. I don't care what version of the step up you do. I just want you moving. Woo! Keep it going, keep it going. I'm checking on y'all. Logan! Move my mat out of the way. 30 set, less than 30 seconds. Come on. Woo! Get that knee up. Remember, if you're doing that glute, that's totally fine. If you want some more core, get that crunch in there. Woo! Come on. Less than 10, and then we're back on those push ups. I'll give you a couple extra seconds to transition. Three, two, one. On the ground. Ready for those push ups. In three, two, one. Come on. It's shorter this time. Come on. Can't quite get my angle right with these cameras. Whew. There we go. That's better. Miss you too. Twenty seconds. Come on. Slowly on the way down. A little more aggressive on the way to the top. Remember, if you need to take that option, you got ten seconds. I would prefer your form to be better than for you to do tons of reps. All right, hop up. Couple extra seconds to transition. Step ups in three, two, one. Let's go. 45, come on. Halfway, come on. Remember we're dropping to 30 seconds on the next round. Now if you need a more incline but you don't want to do the wall, if you have a stair, I did push-ups on my stairs the other day. It worked great. We already got some for these step-ups. Breathe, transition to the floor. Push-ups, 30 seconds, that's it. In three, two, one, let's go. seconds. Come on. Take to those toes if you can for those last 10. Not even 10. Come on. Three, two, one. Give you a couple seconds to get up. Here we go. In three, two, one. Step ups. Woo. I got some. Can't stop the feeling on my playlist right now. I love this song. Especially love dancing to it. Woo! Ten. 
10 seconds, come on. If you can pick up the pace, do it. And breathe. All right. Hey, that was block four. We have three more to go. You're gonna need your mat again. You can move your step out of the way. I'm gonna check on my kiddo real quick. Savannah? Okay. Okay, thank you, baby. All right. So, Matt, we're gonna do fire hydrants. Now, for this one, we're gonna do it a little bit longer. And by longer, I mean we're doing everything for a minute and then 45 and then 30. We are gonna do both sides on the fire hydrant for a minute. Okay, and then we'll do our cardio, which are in and out jumps. Oh, it's gonna hurt. All right, out, together, out, together. If that impact is too hard for you, totally fine, and you guys will probably see me at least halfway through stepping it out. All right, so still working those inside and outside movements on those muscles. All right? Sounds good when you can always catch it later. Just check in about 30 minutes in and we'll get started. So you're starting at round five or block five when you come back to it. All right, fire hydrants. Oh, I should probably show you those. <laughs> These are a little awkward. Don't worry, we're all gonna feel awkward doing them. So, turn sideways so y'all can see a little better. On all fours, lift and down. Lift and down, really important here. As you lift, you are not opening, okay? Like a dog would do. That's why they're called fire hydrants. You are leaving your hips facing down, so you're actively squeezing that glute muscle right there. Awesome, Missy. Glad you're getting a good burn, girl. That's why I'm doing it, all right? So we'll do each side for a minute, then we'll jump up and do those in and outs. Our butts are gonna be on fire, and then we'll drop it to 45. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. I don't care which side you do first, just pick a side. And I want you to think control on the way down. You can do these really fast and never feel them, okay? Slow on the way down. You might even feel this more so. Sometimes I feel things like this more so on my, what Dana would call her standing leg um, in the bar classes I've been doing with her from having to stabilize. Totally fine, as long as you end up feeling on both sides all together. 30 seconds till we switch sides. I'm actually gonna give you a, like a 10 second break at the end <laughs> just to whew, let it relax for a second before we do the other side. Give you a second to switch, here we go. We're gonna have about 10 seconds right here. All right, switch sides. Shake those glutes out if you need to. Whatever wiggle you need to do. <laughs> Three, two, one, lift. Oh, this side's burning from the other side, from stabilizing. Whew. Oh, our booties are gonna burn. Man, y'all, I am sweating. My heart rate is still pretty high, too. All right. So I'll give you that same 10 seconds to transition up for those in and out jumps. Remember, keep that jump in as long as you can, but take that option when you need to. Couple more seconds. Control it, y'all. Control. Three, two, one. We've got 10 seconds to get up. Whew. Man, am I sweating. I haven't sweat like this in a while. Here we go. Three, two, one, out and in. Come on, back on the heels with that weight. Should always be back on the heels, never forward on the toes. about the movement. If you can keep low in that squat, do it. But as we get tired, I'm more concerned about you moving fast because of our cardio section. All right. So if your in and outs look like this, as long as you're keeping form and weight is back in your heels, that's fine. I'm concerned about the movement here. Less than 15. Come on. Three.
three, two, one. Drop. Give you a couple seconds. Here we go. 45. In three, two, one. Let's go. There we go. <clears throat> that angle's a little bit better. Huh? <laughs> Keep going. I got some weights in my way over here. I'm going to give you less of a break. I'm going to give you just a couple seconds to switch over. Probably about five or so. Woo! Remember, keep those hips facing the ground. Got about 10 to go. Come on. This is our 45 second round. It's shorter. Control. All right, take a couple seconds. Couple seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Other side. Oh, it burns. Woo. Try not to get my hair too sweaty. Less than 30. Come on. Control it down. I know it's burning. Woo. Yeah. Almost there. Three, two, one. And now it jumps. I'll give you a second to woo, transition. All right, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. 45. Woo, almost hit the wall back there. <laughs> Remember, if you need to, totally fine. Take that option. Everybody starts in a different place. Everyone's in a different place in their fitness life. Some of y'all may have just started. Some of y'all have been doing this with me for years. Or you have been doing it with me for years until I moved. Almost back to the ground. Three, two, one, down. I'm obviously in a different place with my fitness life too, which is why I have to take more options, and that's okay. Here we go. In three, two, one. I have had to learn that it's okay for me to take it down a notch. You know, I'm a fitness instructor. I've always got to do the hardest option, but I also have to listen to my body. And it's okay to take the option as long as you're still getting your workout. Should never be easy, but it should be doable. We're switching over, no break. Two, one, switch. 30 second round here, y'all. Dee, what's up, girl? If you guys are just tuning in, this will be either up here afterwards for a while, or it will be on YouTube once I can get it uploaded. It just takes me a little bit of time to upload it. So you can follow along, it'll be the exact same. I'm just gonna post it there. And y'all can view it anytime you want to. All right, three, two, one, last set. It's only 30, come on. Let's go, three, two, one. Almost there, then we get a breather. We've only got two blocks left, and then we'll do a short Tabata because, whoo, I'm feeling this workout. I think this is one of the last workouts I taught before we were all banned from leaving our house. So, I remember it was a good one, and I'm definitely feeling it now. And breathe, grab some water. Whoo, okay, so, I'm gonna slide that mat out of the way for now. I actually don't think we need it at all anymore. If you need your step or your stair, take a second. Whee! All right. So, where was I? <laughs> when you work out, all your blood tends to go to your muscles and not your brain, right? That's why I'm so terrible at counting. Okay, so next we have reverse flies. Ideally, you want a light weight, all right? If, we're, if you only have heavy, you can always do rows. With a reverse fly, you wanna go lighter, 
because we're keeping our arms out so the lever's longer, so it's a much harder movement. Now, so I've got some five pounds here, all right? When you do a reverse fly, you are in a hip hinge, all right? So, knees are slightly bent underneath, feet are under the hips. We're gonna push your hips backwards and fold in half. Knees stay bent, okay? Hands in front of that chest, lift, pinching your shoulder blades together behind you, and controlling down. Now, if you have any back issues, you can come up. All right, that might strain you a little more, it just depends. Or you can stagger, okay? Or you can stagger, put one elbow on, and you can do single arm, okay? Or if you have a stair or step, you can use that to brace off of as well, all right? So, you have reverse flies. Cans, like cans of tomatoes or beans or whatever, work great for this one right here, okay? Then, we have um, side step switches. So, I'll give you a couple options, because I have a step, and honestly, I'm gonna have to modify this one after a minute anyways. Side step switches. So, if you have one, right here, okay? Now, if you don't have a step, and you still like that movement, find something that's a line on your floor, one foot on, one foot off, and switch. Touch it, okay? Another thing you can do, if you have a step, any kind of step drill that you would wanna do, up, up, down, down, okay? As long as you're moving, I don't care what it is, okay? Just some kind of, some kind of quick foot type of movement. All right, and if you know what, the one you pick, like 30 seconds in, you're like, I hate this, I gotta switch, just switch it, it's totally fine. I have no idea where I put my timer. Oh, right here. Okay, reverse flies. One minute. Grab whatever you got. Let's get to it. In three, two, one. Now I know my back's gonna start getting tired. So get as much out of each rep as you can. Control down when you need to. Take a breather, relax that back, but try to keep it as long as you can without straining. Even a little weight can feel really intense if you are doing that control on the way down. 30 seconds. Awesome work, you guys. Try to stay as flat as you can. It's easy for us to start to come up as we do this and our backs get tired. You're also working your back. So as long as you're not in pain, you might feel burn. That means you're working those back muscles. Three, two, one, side step overs or whatever drill you feel like doing. Okay? Whoop! Almost fell off the step. You can add a punch. Do it, we got one minute, come on. If you can pick that speed up, do it. If you are like me, you need that option. I'm taking that jump part out of it a little. I feel so uncoordinated today. Probably just because my muscles are getting tired. Woo! Twenty seconds. Come on. Then we're going back to those reverse flies. Yeah. A little coordination. Ten seconds. Come on. Come on, come on, don't give up. I'm feeling it too. Two, one, grab your weights. Here we go, 45. In three, two, one, let's go. Make sure you're in that good position before you get started. Remember, as your back gets tired, take a second, shake it out. Try to get back into it as quick as you can. We got 15 seconds. Woo, my back is feeling it. In a good way, it's just burning. Control. Don't let those weights slam down. Three, two, one, cardio. Whatever step drill or straight line drill you got. 
Remember, if y'all can add a jump, keep that jump in. Just getting hard for me with this belly. 30 seconds. Woo! Come on. Staying strong, you guys. Can you? We're back to reverse flies in three, two, one. Grab those weights. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! This is interval training. Oh, my back's already tired. Hang on to it. We are. Halfway through. Try to hold that burn. One more set of those steps. Step drills. Woo, I'm losing my form here. Yeah. Two, one, 30 seconds. Come on, three, two, one. Especially if you're stepping like me, keep those arms in it. I look uncoordinated. I hope I don't look uncoordinated, but I sure feel uncoordinated right now because my muscles are so tired. Just know it's because my muscles are tired. 10 seconds. Come on. Then we have one more block and of course a break before we do it. And breathe. Grab your water. Whoo. Oh. How y'all feeling? Jessica, wow, hey girl, long time to see. Hey Lynn. Remember, do not do what I'm doing, do not sit down. Do not sit down, just keep moving easy. If y'all just tuned in, it will either be here on my helpful page after this, for you to follow along whenever, or it will be on YouTube. If it is on YouTube, I ask that you uh, watch it there. super helpful to me. All right, so we've got two more exercises, sumo squats and burpees to end it, and then we'll do a quick, quick, I promise, Tabata finisher. It'll take six minutes, okay? So sumo squats, toes are out, weight is back in the heels, just wide legs, okay? You can always add that weight. Again, I prefer it at your chest. All right. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing the workout with us, Missy. All right, then we have burpees. Now, I can tell you right now, I will have to modify on the bench. Even with that, it is getting difficult, so I end up about halfway through having to take it down a notch. Once again, listen to your body. Everyone's at a different place. I am not at the top of my game with being able to move the ways that I wanna move, and it's okay. As long as you feel like you're working, okay? Let me check on my kid. Savannah, you okay? Okay, thank you. Are you on the white mat? Thank you. Okay. All right. Real life, right? Okay. So, let's see. I showed you the sumo squats, burpees. I know most of you know what they are, but I'm going to show you again. Ideally, if you can, on the ground. Most of you I know can. But if you're like me or you're new to fitness, inclines, stairs work great for this as well. Okay? Hands to the ground. Popping out to a plank. Okay, not here, to a plank. Hopping back in, you wanna to get to your heels. Okay, you can get them outside your hands and then take it to that jump. Now the options, you can either incline it like me, keep that jump in, or you can step it out, step it in again to your heels. Okay, and if you need to take the jump out, you can come up on the toes, or just no jump. All right? You can also do these on a wall. I have people do them on the wall in my classes. Hands on the wall, out and up, okay? I'm not asking for push-ups because we already did push-ups. Thanks, Janine. You can always finish it later, but you definitely got a good workout anyways. <laughs> I know, we're almost, we're 51 minutes in. So, all right, you guys ready? Make sure if you're hopping off, you stretch, cool down and stretch. All right, so, last block, sumo squats, burpees. Here we go, in three, two, one, let's go. 
Woo, I feel like I do not need any extra weight on these. Goodness gracious. Woo. I know some of y'all have Zoom calls for your kids, so you might have to hop off. Totally get it. I was hoping this would take an hour exactly, but definitely pushing it. I know I started a few minutes late because I wanted to give people a chance to hop on. Whoo, y'all, I have kept my, kept my heart rate up high this whole time. I have so much more fun, so much more burn when I'm doing it with you guys. I think you guys probably feel the same way too, really missing group fitness because there's energy when there's other people doing it with you and there's somebody to coach you through it. And I'm not going to lie, it gives me energy to coach you guys. So, I work out harder when I'm pushing you through. All right, we're taking it to burpees for 60 seconds in three, two, one. Come on. Now, this is your cardio. So, I want you to keep going. Doing as many as you can. However, it is a full minute. So, do what you can. Pace yourself, but also knowing you want to try to get as many done as possible. All right. If you are stepping it out like me, try to switch which leg you step in and out with. That way you're not favoring one side over the other. Hard to do, especially as our blood is not in our brain right now. Come on. 10 seconds and we're back to those sumo squats. Try to get to those heels every time. You don't want to be on those toes. Three, two, one. Sumos. If you can, pick up that way. I'm going to pick up something tiny for now. Just remember, I've got an extra 30 pounds on me. <laughs> I've always got to wait. Wide feet, toes out. Remember, you're still sitting backwards. Don't let those knees buckle in. 45 second round. Standing all the way to the top. A lot of times I see people doing this. That'll work you too. But get those quads a lot. But I want a full range of motion squeezing those glutes at the top. You got 10 seconds. Then we're back at burpees. Y'all, this is our last block. And then we have Tabata. Quick, quick, quick. It only takes six minutes. Here we go. Burpees, three, two, one. Now remember, I'm very insistent on this. When you do a burpee, I can crank one out. Right here, heels. I do not want you here. That is going to eventually kill your knees. All right, so to those heels. And that's why I encourage people a lot of times to take an incline because it allows you that hip flexibility a little bit better to sink in that squat. 10 seconds. Come on, almost there, back to sumos. Three, two, one, 30 seconds, come on. Y'all, 60 seconds here, then we get a break. 30 here and then 30 in burpees, sorry. Hey, 15, 30 seconds of burpees and that's it. Ay, ay, ay. Man, I did yard work yesterday too, so my muscles are a little shot. Here we go in three, two, one, burpees. Final set. I'm gonna try to keep that jump in. I may not hit that full plank. I'm gonna try. It's a little hard on my core. 15, come on. Three, break one more out, two, one. Take that breather, grab that water. Ha, ah, yeah. Y'all, we're almost there. All right. So, Tabata, four exercises. We're only doing three rounds because I think, honestly, we've had plenty of torture for today. Y'all know what's coming though. You know, we always have burpees, 
And we always have, anybody want to guess? <laughs> Star jumps! Oh, love, hate, relationship with this. So, Tabata, 20 on, 10 off, as hard as you can go for that effort. And then that 10 seconds of complete rest. I don't mean stand still. I mean, step, touch, march in place, whatever. Just don't stand completely still, but it is a complete rest. I don't want you going actively, okay? So here's our four exercises. Whew, star jumps. If you don't get low on this, I totally understand. Little to big, little to big option is to take the jump out, okay? Then we have high knees, pick them up. This one, unlike the warm up, I want it to be hard and fast. Get them as tabletop as possible. Not gonna lie, this gets in my way a little bit, so I apologize if my knees aren't too high. Then we have quick feet on the step. You can do it on or off. So I lowered my step. So let's see how we wanna do quick feet today. Quick feet, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. All right, if you can, every time we do it, try to alternate sides. Another option, if you have a step or a stair, right here, or you can just tap. All right, you can also just step it up and over. All right, then we have jump rope. All right, so I want those arms really moving. You can side to side, as long as you're moving, I don't care. All right, I got my timer ready, and let me try to make sure I'm not Oh, I'm trying to get this out of the way a little bit so I don't trip on it. Okay, turn this on. This is it. After this, we'll cool down, we'll stretch, be done. A little over an hour. So this should take us exactly six minutes. Let me switch my timer. Had y'all set for four rounds, but I think that's mean at this point. All right, star jumps in three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, remember. Keep that jump in as long as you can, because once you stop and take a break, it's hard to get back started. And it's only 20 seconds. 10 to go, come on. If you need that option, take it. I know you guys are tired, because I am too. Two, one, 10 seconds breather. All right, we got those high knees. High knees, Whoop, there's a wall there. <laughs> Here we go, three, two, one. Let's go, come on. Arms are pumping. Give it all you got. Tabata is supposed to be high, 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 high intensity interval training. Listen to your body. Don't go so hard that you feel like you're gonna pass out. But you should be going hard on these efforts. Two, one, breathe. We got those, that step, step drill, or remember, oh, I forgot to tell y'all, y'all can just do it flat on the ground. All right, three, two, one. Whatever works for you. Or again, just on the line. A line in your house, plank of wood on your hardwood floor, whatever. Two, one, breathe. We got jump rope. Whew. Here we go. Ah, just felt a kick. Two, one. He normally sleeps when I work out, but if I work out too long, he wakes up. So then I did the exact same thing. Come on, get those arms moving faster. We're not gonna trip on this rope, it's invisible. You can go super fast. Double jump, breathe. Star jumps, round two. We got two rounds to go. Catch that breath. If at any point you need to take a breather, just do not sit or stand still. Come on, 20 seconds. Keep that jump in as long as you can. Two, one, breathe. 10 seconds, we got high knees. We are so close to done. Oh my goodness. Here we go, three, two, one. Come on. Come on, pick up the pace, I'm trying. I got this weight right here that's jiggling. I do have a belly band, don't worry, it's giving me some support. Probably should be a little tighter. Breathe. Probably should tighten it up a little bit. All right, we got those 
Um, quick feet, quick feet on the step or on the floor. Two, one, come on. Get those arms moving. I know it may feel a little funny. I definitely look funny. I can see myself. <laughs> I just want you moving as intense and as hard as you can. If you've got that level change on a stair or a step, great. Breathe. 10 seconds, jump rope. Ow! It's kicking. I'm moving my step out of the way. Three, two, one. Come on. Almost there. Come on. We got one more round after this. Breathe. Heart rate should be high. Check with yourself. Know your body. If it's too high, take a breather. Just do not stop completely. Step, touch, grab some water. We got one round. Star jumps. Last set. Let's go. Come on. If you're going faster than me, good job. Keep going. I wish I could go faster than me right now. Breathe, 10 seconds. We got high knees. We are so almost done. A minute and a half left. Then we bring it down. Two, one. Come on. Woo! Yeah! Keep going, keep going! So I something pop up there, but I can't really read it. We're almost done. Come on. Breathe. Two more exercises. Then we're done. All right, what's next? Quick feet on the step, on a level change, or on the ground. Three, two, one, let's go. I never played football, but I feel like this resembles some kind of football drill. <laughs> or soccer. If you're a soccer player, I'm trying to switch feet. Woo, that was not coordinated. Two. One, breathe. Last exercise. Come on, it's jump rope. It's not even star jumps. You can do this. Three, two, one. Have some fun with it. Come on. It's our last one. Breathe. Awesome. Do not sit or stand still. Grab your water. Oh, oh my goodness. Just kind of walk around. If you want to do a little active recovery, you could do just a couple easy squats. Easy squats, maybe easy knee crunches. Step touch. Normally in class, I would have you all walk around putting your equipment away. It's part of your cool down. Now, if you do want to do a core finisher, I do have a couple on my YouTube. If you go to the Helpful Katie, it's definitely somewhere on my um, Facebook group page, somewhere on there. Um, you can go to Helpful Workouts, and it should be listed. There should be one, at least one or two ones that say core finishers. If you want to get some abs in, it's again not something I can do in my current physical state. <laughs> which I'm learning to be okay with. Whew. Man, anybody else's butt feel like it's already burning from as fire hydrants earlier? All right, I'm gonna turn my music off. I'm not done with needing something to, some kind of beat. So those of y'all who have been with me for all or majority of the time, how are you guys feeling? Sharon, hi, hope you're doing well. How are you guys feeling? Good workout? Tough one? It's definitely tough for me, I promise. All right, so let's just get a little stretch in. You have some cool down music, change up to some cool down music, whatever. All right, so. Hey, Savannah, you doing good? Okay, I'm almost done, baby. All right, thank goodness for Mickey Mouse, right? All right, one knee behind, keep that knee pointing straight down. If you don't feel this, if you have some hyperflexibility, push through your hip flexor a little bit. 
You'll feel that a little bit more. Keep that core tight. It's hard for me to do. Keep that core tight as you're doing this. Switch. Even though we're stretching, you don't want to be loose, right, in that core. We've always got to keep control. I'll stretch that out in a minute. Awesome. Let's do a glute across on top. If you did just tune in recently, I know I saw a couple names pop up there. As soon as I'm done with this, you can watch it on here. I'll leave it up for a little bit, but if you give me a little time, I'll try to get it uploaded to YouTube. Hopefully I can get that done within an hour. It's a long video, so it might take a while. Um, but um, I would definitely ask you to watch it there, switch sides, um, so I can get views. Um, I'll leave it up here. Um, at least for a little bit. Um, that way, if you're watching it, I don't cut you off in the middle of your workout and make you switch over. <laughs> um, but I will, um, if you are going to do this tonight or tomorrow, check and see if it's on the YouTube site first. <sighs> Which I will post. Once it's up, I'll post it on here. All right, hamstring, heel to the ground, pull back. Heart stays above your hips. Hamstring, point that toe down. Oh, I think another uh, <laughs> Mickey Mouse episode just started. And normally I try to let her at least finish the episode. Darn. Oh well, I can get a I can get a protein shake made. Point down. Y'all. I hope y'all has as good of a workout as I I've missed you. I definitely miss y'all in North Carolina a lot. Um, miss all my peeps that I've been coaching recently. Miss everybody. Let's just be real. Stretch tall. <sighs> Open that chest up. Hands behind the head. Pull those elbows back. So with this, you should be feeling it in your chest, but also a tiny lean back, feeling that in the core. <sighs> Open those lungs up here. Mm. <sighs> Release. Cross one arm in front. Pull towards you. Whew. <sighs> if y'all have any questions, I'm gonna. I can kind of check now that we're not in the workout. Feel free to put any comments in uh, if you have any questions about anything. I think I'm going to try to do this Wednesday mornings. Um, 9 o'clock. It's a good time for me. Um, I'm somewhat flexible if, if there's a better time for you guys, if 9.30 works better. But um, at the moment, I think I'm going to try to start doing this at 9 on Wednesdays. All right. Let's, uh, where was I? Let's um, spread our legs. Sink down, low push out. So hold that there. Saw a comment pop up. I'm so glad you got it done. You stuck with us today, Sophia, Sarah. Awesome, but two Sarahs. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for doing this with me. It's almost like real life class, right? <laughs> All right, let's stand up. What do I do? Feet together, grab your wrist, pull gently to the side. If you actually give it a little tug, you'll feel that stretch a little bit more than just leaning over. All down the side, which we need from those side bends. Switch. We got one more stretch after this and we'll take a big breath and then we'll sign off. Y'all can get to your busy days of being home. Don't worry, I understand. I'm like, We've been so crazy busy. Oh, one more, sorry. Place your hands, push out, round out that back. I've been so busy at home, which, I mean, I'm mostly a stay-at-home mom anyways, outside of teaching fitness classes, but man, it's still been crazy busy. Mostly because I just have a constant mess to clean up all the time. <laughs> all right, one big breath in through that nose to the top. Hold it there for two to three seconds and control it out. Awesome job today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. 
feel free to do this workout again. I'm going to try to do it every Wednesday. Um, I'll keep y'all updated. But miss you guys. Stay safe. Bye.